guys, girl. welcome back to the Bad and the Bougie podcast. I am your host, Talani Baj, aka T Baj, and I'm here with my co host, Moey Abebe, also known as the goddess. <laughs> and yes, it is time for Bad and Bougie. Long time no see, y'all. Uh, Long time no see, girl. Long time no see. How was your weekend? <laughs> my weekend has been interesting. I got um, rather tipsy. Oh, I saw your, I saw your story yeah. on Instagram. Living but the then, life. That was literally after I went for this um, this amazing um, movie premiere mm-hmm. um, that um, the theme was Owambe Extravaganza. And I think Love I this. killed it. Girl, Absolutely you look it. beautiful. Thank that you. orange on your skin. Mm, only Chef's thing that is remaining is man to marry. Man. I thought, you, I thought you do want man now, Abby. I never said, hey, I have never said I don't want man. <laughs> I want man. I need man. It was that song that Tiwa yeah, uh, and Simis man. Simi men are crazy. Some of but I want them in, in my, my bed. Thank you. Yeah, so, but I still guys, need them. <laughs> we have a special guest in the house. We have Vanessa, a.k.a. Ivorian Doll, a.k.a. IVD. A.k.a. Mm-hmm. Bad the baddest bitch in the UK. Oh, Welcome. I'm so happy to see you guys. Thank you for having me. You are so I love Vanessa your with the energy. Thank you. Always. But well, Tolini knows me, guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is my first oh, time oh, meeting oh. you. Yes, it is. But it's so amazing to meet her. Yeah. But Tolini, yeah, I know Tolini. I have been coming to Nigeria. I do this. And <laughs> oh, you do this. Continue. I do this. Continue. I'm, I'm um, loving it. I just wanted to just come on and just support because I'm a big fan of the podcast. So I was Aww. just like, I hear up and like, Tony, I'm coming. Can I come? And she was like, yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> it's, all, it's only right. Guys, right. fun fact. How did I find out about IVD? Mm. Like, how did you find Girl. out? I wasn't even going to ask. How did you guys meet? We met through I'll a mutual you, friend. I'll tell you how we met. Okay, go on. But okay. how I knew of you before we met in person. I yes. used to watch your YouTube channel in America. Yeah, you, you probably in America. Oh. Yeah, oh. I used to live in Chicago. Oh my god! And I'm like, who is this babe? Because then you used, used to get into a lot of fights in the UK. That's the case. You know, I don't want to mention that one babe name. <laughs> you might hate it. There was one babe that you fought with. I'm just like, who is this girl? Yeah, I got but, into a lot. I was, yeah. I was messy back then. Very messy. I was, but like, things have changed. Think, what, things she's have more changed. Mature. I've grown up. You yeah. know, hey, I was yeah. 17. A girl, you know. But, but you were giving us content, so uh-huh. I used to watch. I'm like, who is this wild girl just living carefree? Only for me to move to Nigeria, um, became friends with Demi, and then you came to Nigeria, met you through Demi, and boom. Oh, yeah. The rest and is history. Just clicked up and I was like, what? Yeah, this baby is so fun. fun. Thank love you. It. Love yes, it, love yes, it, love yes. it, love it. I love that you guys, you know, clicked literally first time. Straight away. Yes. Yes. Literally. So, straight and away. I feel like even though yes is our first time meeting, I also sort of feel that vibe from Right, you. of course. And I'm super excited for this episode. Mm-hmm. Same. So I'm we are here. talking this week. Mm-hmm. about misconceptions yes. and i personally feel like that is definitely something that you can yeah. relate to you know uh-huh. being a female rapper 100 percent. um you know one thing about um the rap industry especially for women yes is that you've got to be sexy Ooh, right um i think i saw somewhere where you said that you would not have done your body if you were not a rapper Right. All right. So do you feel that, yes, that, you know, most people who are doing their bodies, yeah. it's probably because they are in the entertainment industry. Right. Or... No. Okay. What, <laughs> what no. I think, I, I still stand on that because mm. I feel like, because if I wasn't in the public eye, mm. I wouldn't feel the need to alter myself because I've always been very confident, yeah. like in body or without body. But I just kind of felt a lot of pressure because as I was getting out there, I started traveling a lot. Mm. This other girls might not relate, but mm-hmm. to me personally, I was like, oh my God, like, there's a certain look that female rappers have that is like, okay, I think when you look like this is getting you a step mm. up. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know what? Hey, I'm going to do it. Mm. And I did it and I do not regret it. I'm even like, I feel like if you do your body, you should be confident prior, you know? Important. Because then sometimes it's like you can tell that when they get their body done, they're still not confident. Mm-hmm. And you're carrying this new body, but you don't believe. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you know what I'm trying to say. I just believe. I just. I already felt beautiful without it, and now I got it. It's just made me like ten times. Yeah, (laughs) and it's like now it's just enhanced the way I rap and everything. I just. I'm really confident. Mm -hmm. So what has changed since you got your body done? I feel like. (laughs) Break it down, baby girl. Break it down. Everything. Honestly, everything. Uh I can. Okay. I'm thinking, where can I go without them thinking, oh, you're going to say men, but you're going to say that because 
you know, but they, then they're going to say, oh, people get four men. Mm-hmm. But I don't. Mm-hmm. I literally got it because I saw that all the girls were looking a certain way mm-hmm. and I wanted to look like that. But mm-hmm. I feel like, to be honest, I feel like a lot of people wanted to kind of they, you know what? In terms of styling, mm-hmm. people want you to wear their clothes right. mm-hmm. because you look good. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. and I feel like you get it's weird because in the entertainment industry, more people are kind of like, "Oh, hey, do you want to come out?" You know, you just start to become someone that just looks good that they want to be next to. And mm-hmm. of course, the men, the mm-hmm. caliber of men is different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You get more trips. Mm-hmm. I feel like men sexually objectify you in the industry because of your your big ass, your nice frame, and your pretty face. You say a nice brain. You say a nice face. You know what? Important. Who would not uh, look at a woman sexually when she's mm. very hourglass beautiful? Mm-hmm. But I'm not referring to me. I'm referring to every other woman, like yourself as well. Like yourself, you mm-hmm. guys are very curvy and beautiful. Mm-hmm. But I feel like it doesn't affect me as much as it did before because now I I know how you're supposed to act. So, for example, when I first got my body done, I feel mm. like you, you're very excited, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And obviously men would look at you sexually. And to be honest, I didn't really have an issue with that because I was like, yeah, well, I look good. You know, mm-hmm. but then as you start, I've, now I've adjusted to this new body, right? Mm-hmm. So now I'm like, it's not fun anymore, mm-hmm. you know? So now it's like the way you, the way I just act around them, it's just like, if I see that, that's what they're, because you could tell when a man first is literally just wants everything you, else, mm-hmm. wants you, you that don't way. entertain it. So I don't I can't tell the difference though. You can okay for example. Tell me, tell me what right. it is. I this, need to know. I feel like you how just you, know. How, you, do you know. how do you know a guy who wants you for you and a guy who truly loves you for you? Okay. On first approach, you're just very it could be touchy or you just compliment my body a lot. Yeah. You know, oh you're so what's well, sexy. Mm-hmm. It's not beautiful. Oh, you're so fine. It's like I want to fuck else? you. Yeah, like, it's just like, all right, okay, I get it. But things like that, I don't entertain it. Like, sometimes it'll be like, oh, you, can you give me a hug? It's just like, mm, come on, like, no. no. I don't I know you like that. Say, I've got a man. I use that. It's been helping me. Okay. okay. Yeah. So do you have a man, though? I'm talking to someone. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is he in Nigeria? Is that why you're here? Yeah. Oh. Let's get straight to the point. Ooh. I'm going to okay. okay. is, is that why you always say Nigeria is the best place Yeah, in the is world? that why? Hey, I just started. This is not no because you I've just been, started away. No, I've when did you just start saying I've that? Been, you just started away. I've been coming here. It's not no. I do appreciate Nigeria, but not because yeah. of the men. Okay. I just love the culture, the food. I love you guys. What I was saying before, the drive. Mm-hmm. Like every time I come here, it motivates me to kind of like no, keep your foot on the pedal because you guys do not let go. Like mm-hmm. you guys are so motivated. So mm-hmm. I really love that part about Aww. you. Aww. But. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I love this. Love no, I just started talking to someone and yeah. he's really lovely. I really like him. Mm. Is he a public figure? No. 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 Mm-hmm. You know, I stayed away from that. Mm-hmm. Um, I just realized that because I'm already out there, I would rather be with someone that is like, you know, behind understand. Maybe he works behind the scenes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I like. So because he needs to understand what I do. Trim. Mm-hmm. And he understands what I do. I like him. Okay. Aww, All right. So, so let's even just go back to the whole, you know, sex talk um would you say that sex really sells concerning your brand hmm you know what because i'm dropping my tape Mm -hmm. i removed myself from the sexual um image like Mm. my songs are more like uh, what's the word is is it okay for example i just dropped a freestyle yeah Mm -hmm. It's not sexual anymore. Like I stayed, mm. I'm trying to stay away from that because it's like women have more to offer than sex. Than just sex. You know what True. I'm saying? And I'm trying to show that, okay, a woman can look good and look beautiful and men tend to think you're dumb, mm. you know, just because you look that way. Mm. So I'm trying to show them like, no, I can actually rap. So let me stay away from, I mean, you can touch on how sexy you are, yeah. but I don't want the whole music to Long just be about, be about sex. Yeah, sexy. because you realise your fan base as you're going out and stuff. And I realise like young girls, when every time I'm out, Obviously, artists will say, oh, young girls don't need to look up to me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, I do what I want. But you have to be mindful. Yeah. Because, you know, like... And obviously, my dad's a pastor as well. Yes. Mm-hmm. Gonna I never shy away from saying that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And because we're so close, mm-hmm. I can see when I rap about something, he feels, like, uncomfortable. <laughs> you know? And he keeps telling me, like, you know you could do this without doing that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know what? Okay. Mm-hmm. So my tape, I'm very excited because it's, it's away from that. Mm-hmm. But I'm just trying to not... Because you, I already look good. Mm. I don't need to keep putting that in people's faces with your music you can look good and speak about other things and that is like a oh my god like you know it attracts people more more yeah because i've matured even when i talk to men and it's like 
now when I talk to them is nothing is not flirty. I don't flirt. You know, mm-hmm. Tolling, you know how it was before. So yeah. flirty, fun. Very wild girl. Oh, okay. yo, very wild. I wish the wild I, I IVD know. came though. <laughs> I mean, what I can say is that you have she's evolved. She's still there. She's, I'm not, she's I'm still, still there. It's still there, but you have evolved. You're yeah, not it's the like, same person no, you used to be. No, it's like okay. you can't... I realise, yeah, you know, the men that you lay with and you talk with, you can't trust them mm. because you know what? Because you think you're just being you. And then when you leave them, they're so excited that it's you, mm. you know? I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. But as you start to grow up and you start hearing that they're talking about you, you say, oh! So do you agree that more men kiss and tell? Yes. The I kissing, agree. the kissing, and the telling, the telling. Mm. I agree. I totally, totally, totally agree. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Does your dad listen to your music though? Yes. Every, my dad could be my manager. Mm. For real? Every song. If, I, if I'm late, if I tell him a date, okay, dad, this song's coming out on Friday. He will be there <laughs> on Aww. Friday morning. Mm-hmm. Where's the song? Send me the link. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he could be my manager. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And what about your mum? Because it seems like you're very, very close, close to your dad. Yeah. But there seems to be yeah, but the reason some sort of distance with your mum. I okay. don't know if there is. No. It, there was. The reason there why I'm was. closer to my okay. dad is because I grew up with my dad. Mm. You know, my mum and dad split up. Mm. You know, so it was my dad, my dad, my dad. And then my mum and dad, thank God they got back together. Oh, wow, they got back yeah. together. But when they got back together, I was in a position where I've moved out. You know, mm. and then then they had my little brother. So everyone's doing their own thing, mm-hmm. and I've already moved out. I didn't have the time to build that Bond. connection with my mom, mm. so, right? So now when I started going home a lot, I've now finally got to. And a plus, it comes with age. You understand? Yes. You can't blame your moms because it's their yeah. first time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I realized, you know, as I speak to her. You know, and also when I understand, you know, men are a bit annoying. I love my dad, but I can understand women. Like, like you can understand you know, what, what the uh-huh. reason I understand mom, a lot of things. why I agree. You, you you felt to cut him off. Mm. I understand why you felt like you know put your needs first. Mm. I get it. So now it's like me and her are very close. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just talk about my dad a lot because he's very involved in my life. My mom's mm-hmm. French, so she's she doesn't understand it, but she's just like okay, you Whatever. know, keep doing oh, your so thing. So your mom doesn't speak English. So your mom speak English. It's like this. Oh. It's like, yeah, but my dad is like a British man. Oh, I see. That's why I say he can manage me because he gets it. Yeah. Paperwork, money, he gets it. Let's talk about female friendships in the industry, right? Right. Do you believe that female rappers engage with each other? Like, do you think there's competition? Do you think they support each other? Do you think what, there's envy there? Do you feel like in UK or everywhere? Everywhere, you're in the industry. Everywhere. Right. But- but, I but feel, maybe specifically in the UK. For you know the what? UK. Okay, you know what? You can make genuine friendships. Mm-hmm. You can. You know, you know how girls are very friendly. Yeah. Mm. But I just feel like it's a it is competitive mm-hmm. because they are not your friends. Mm. You know what I'm trying like, to you, you can't be buddy buddy with people I that agree. you're trying to compete with. Mm-hmm. We can be friendly and we can, you know, I've made some genuine friends, I'm not gonna lie, where I'm just like I take off I take the competition aside because I'm like mm. I actually fuck with you as a person. Mm-hmm. But it's like, you can't be like that with everyone because you realise a lot of people are really trying to get to the top and they'll try to be your friend, yeah. see what you're doing and then just do it and more, you know? Mm. So just, you can't, you can't trust people. Uh-huh. Mm. So is there genuine friendships as females? Overall, I'll say no. No. Yeah, okay. I've, I've, I'd stay away from that. Yeah? yeah. All right. So sorry, sorry to go back, um, just even concerning female friendships and even just some beefs that have happened with or concerning you. Right. Um, I know like now Miss R Fabulous, she was your friend before, wasn't yes. she? Yes. The name I do want to mention. <laughs> I wanted to keep it respectful, you know, keep you, the past in the past. Period. You know, you know, you but, know yeah. her personally. She's not a rapper or anything. You know, you know her personally, so maybe yeah, that's no, no, why. Fine, yeah. Fine. I'm just getting to know her, so I'm kind of <laughs> understanding. Oh, she did the research. Yeah. <laughs> I did the research, girl. You are back. <laughs> yes, man. But yeah, back, just like, back. Just, just the beef that you have with some female um, right. um, rappers. Um, would you say that now, looking back, and now that you know, using hindsight, you 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 sort of regret some of the things that you know the back and forth because definitely there was some sort of misconception or these mm. misunderstanding, especially from your fans. Mm. You know, looking in. Mm. No, why? I never regret anything I do. Okay, except from talking to certain men that I would not talk to <laughs> when it comes to <laughs> uh-huh. when it comes to like my life I can't regret it because it's got me here today yeah. every beef I had was a step 
up. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. as rapping, rap beef is a thing. It, yes, exactly. It, it, it is. It's, a, it's there to show your talent. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's 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 a stepping stone. That is what it is. So it's like you come in the industry. This is what it is. Mm-hmm. You know. So it's like I never ever back down from a rap beef. Mm-hmm. I feel like I don't regret it at all. Maybe I might regret. Okay, what I don't like about myself is when I'm angry, the way I go about it. Mm. I like when I do the rap, but I don't like when I do the online. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, I do that. I, I do that a lot. Like it's like, oh, I will do the online and then I'll do the rap. Mm. Where it's just like I should just not say anything and mm. then put it and in the music. Because the then you're expecting then what I put online. You know, you're already gonna hear it and it's like. <laughs> We already saw what you said, you know. So that's the only thing I regret. But I never regret like beefing with anybody. Okay. I think it's 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 a part of the game. So would you say there's a difference between Vanessa as a person yep. and IVD? You know what? Yes, mm-hmm. I feel like Vanessa is. Re- Have you? Do you feel like you've met Vanessa? I Have know you? Vanessa. I don't know though. I know the difference. What's the difference? So what is it? You then? You, okay, so Vanessa as a person is sweet, emotional, right. and vulnerable. IVD has to come online mm-hmm. and pretend. Sorry, mm-hmm. I gotta use that word to be strong. Mm-hmm. Act like the trolls don't get to her, but truly is getting to her. Have to do with a lot of negative, you know, reviews online, but mm-hmm. still have to put a wall up. Do you understand? Why do you feel mm-hmm. like that? Where did that come from? Because I can relate to you. That's how I know the difference. Okay. Do you understand? Okay, yeah, that kind of like, sounds like okay. Tony. Do you get? I'm very. <laughs> yeah, I'm very. I'm very. Say, yeah, I'm that's... very sweet. I'm very sweet in person, yeah. right? Right, right? But online, people already have a perception about me online that I'm a bitch, whatnot. Yep. But I can't blame them. It's because mm. that's who I choose to be online. I don't Why want people though? because I don't want people to see my weakness. Right. Do you understand? Right. You know, when I'm crying, mm. I'm not going to come online to show that I'm crying. I've you understand? Done that. Recently, you come, you come that's going to, to help your, your EP anyway. Thank you. It's, that's marketing. <laughs> it's marketing. Cry strategically. <laughs> don't, just, don't cry for nothing. <laughs> if you're going to cry, it has to make sense. Mm. You do understand? And then you post something yeah. in relation to You got to be yeah. strategic. <laughs> she has an EP coming out before summer, right? As I was saying, that's the name. Before summer, I can't As I was day. saying, I love that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. As I, can I tell you why it's called that? Why? Yeah. why? Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> the reason why it's called As I Was Saying is because, you know, I felt, honestly, personally, I felt like when I started music, I was really climbing, climbing, mm. and then I had a bad deal. Mm. And then it just put me on hold. Yeah. And then it, I felt like everyone was passing me. You know, that's a horrible feeling, you know, yeah. when you, when you mm, generally true. feel like, you know what, I could have been way bigger than I am, but it's like I was stopped. Mm-hmm. So I'm picking up from where I left off. Mm. So it's like, as I was saying, because, you know, people, no, no one's going to wait for you. True. So I feel like people, I, you know, I see comments like, oh, what happened to IVD? Oh, I miss old IVD. That's, that, that's not that. Yeah, you you so know how painful, painful it is? It's mm. very painful, yes. It's so painful. And I've been mm-hmm. seeing that a lot, like recently. Yeah. And I'm just thinking, why they keep saying that like and it makes you feel like oh did I fall off mm. you know and mm-hmm. it's like nobody wants to hear that nobody so you know it's just, it, it hurts me but it's like nobody cares mm-hmm. do you know what I'm trying to say but yeah. it's like it wasn't my fault like I'm still the same person but now I've matured mm-hmm. so the girl you're looking for that does drill I'm not there anymore yeah. oh so you're no longer the queen of drill I am <laughs> <laughs> let's ask that hey, let's <laughs> see I feel like I'm gonna tell I'm gonna you know yeah big up my chest on this one because I'm very humble but you know I feel like I came into this music thing in the UK and I feel like I I definitely opened a lot of doors because mm-hmm. a lot of girls have now have the confidence to come because when I started oh you my were, god you were in your own lane mm. I, when I started she was just go there. back Nobody, to the kitchen like what Yo. you know go back to the kitchen go and do this mm. females shouldn't do drill mm-hmm. I came out with track suits and everything mm-hmm. but then I realized you know what I actually enjoy this mm-hmm. so I took the heat so that the rest can yeah Okay, like well, that. Oh yeah, tell us the difference between Vanessa and Vanessa IVD. I don't know if I was yes. accurate. So okay, you tell all right. Us. Yeah. You know what? Vanessa's very lovely, Davi. Vanessa is very, you know, she would want to settle down, mm. be a wife. Mm. Okay. You know, I'm very caring. I'm very soft. I'm very emotional. I am emotional. I sit down. I think about things. I'm very. Vanessa's very by herself. Okay. Very lonely, but in a good way because mm. you don't need friends. Not lonely, alone, I would I'm say. I'm very alone. That's it. Right? That's facts. Mm-hmm. And always planning my next steps. IVD is what I post online. Whenever I post, it's me dressed up, walking, you know. Showing that my hair, fashion showing my bum. Yeah, yeah. Fashion, you know. Yeah. Always mm. doing something that you would expect an artist to do. Okay. But it's like, I post it and then after that, I just go back to who I was being, mm, you know? Mm, so mm. it's like, uh, it's just two different people. IVD's not going to show the... 
emotional side because it's not on brand. Mm. Yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody, Nobody wants to see that. Nobody does. <laughs> you know, Avidy is the lifestyle that people would, oh, I really want to be like that when I grow up. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. what I put out there for Avidy. Mm-hmm. Okay. And Avidy shows confidence. Yeah. You know, because when I rap, I, I generally feel like when I rap, it's Avidy rapping, you know? So it's like very confident. But my tape, I think most of it is Vanessa. Very oh, emotional. Okay. How many tracks? Oh, 12 tracks on the EP. Okay. And I swear, like six of them, the first intro is me talking about my dad being a pastor and my oh, people wow. judging me. Oh. Yeah, my dad's even talking in there. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm telling you, I put him on the tape. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just wanted to show growth and maturity. This mm. is my first ever tape. I didn't get the chance to because I was in such a bad deal. Mm-hmm. So it's like, this is the first time. It's like, okay, this is me. Mm. I'm being very vulnerable. I'm giving it to you. Yeah. Take it how you want it. Oh, oh I love that. I absolutely love that for you. you. Now, I feel <laughs> kind of weird at asking you certain questions. because it Ask seems me. Like, because like, in all honesty, when I went through the previous songs that you have put out there's a Porn. lot of sex there's a lot of you know all that type of stuff and a lot of people, is my favorite Thank a lot you. of people will say that you sort of promote quote so, unquote promise prostitution what? how does how, that make though? you how does that no, these are the comments i see so, so how, yeah so how does that make you feel okay do i promote prostitution I don't think you do. I personally don't think I promote prostitution. Do you know what I mean? I think they're going too far. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like I don't promote selling sex. I do not do that, you know? But in my songs, I promote, well, the old songs, it's like, yes, I'm a sexy woman. You know, if he wants to fuck with me, yes, he should have money. Because (laughs) you know why? Why not? Why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that that you're promoting prostitution. No. And it's like, that probably comes from insecure men who don't have it. Mm -hmm. You know, and probably comes from probably insecure women who believe they can never have it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like, what's wrong with me? In music, do you know why I say these things though? Because in music, why do you want to hear someone shy mm. you want to hear a song and feel confident empowered. Yeah. and empowered. Yeah. empowered so that's yes. the way i empower myself and the girls that take it that way you can relate you can relate mm-hmm. you want a bad bitch you want to be a bad bitch you, you won't get a bad bitch. and you want a man with money there you go i mean who doesn't want their man with money though we should stop like, lying about it let's you know? give you 100 why are we lying and i don't like when men say oh that's what all girls talk about and the then uh, and and what what's wrong with that? Because we what have are we the talking about. <laughs> I, I, I never ask for things, you know. With me, I don't ask for things I don't have. Yeah, you know. And I've just as I'm growing up, I'm 26 now. I've just learned with men. You know what? I've just I've just put my hands up. I surrender. Mm-hmm. I, I left them alone. Mm-hmm. Um. Now, how much of your lyrics would you say is really accurate to who you are? <sighs> That's a good question <laughs> because, you know, when I go into the booth, okay, before when I went into, that's why I'm so happy about this tape because I went in as myself mm. and I did it for myself. Mm. But well, usually when I go into the booth, I think, what do they want to hear? Yeah. So to be honest with you, maybe 50% is true, mm. but lyrics sort of, what, what have I said that I don't believe? Yeah, like, like pipe your nigga in my mirror, <laughs> you know, send him back in time for dinner. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Repeat that. Can we hear that again? Pipe your nigga said, in my mirror. Pipe your nigga in my mirror. Send him back in time for dinner. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> but I know, you see, you see your reaction. That's sweet. Every though. girl, pipe your nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Yeah, or, yeah. um, for example, okay, when I did rumors, mm. okay, when I said they said I'm leaking from the STDs, yes. that, I got, that was real. <laughs> because that's that was what, a rumor. Yeah, that was a rumor. Mm. So that was real. And then when I said, what else have I said that I've been at? That's not true. I've said stuff. There are like, lyrics about Esther. Esther Falana. About what was she doing at 21? Something like I that. Said, I said, what was she doing at 21? I see that popping babies ain't for everyone. I saw that out with her though. What, what, yeah, I know. I saw that. <laughs> Let's get that out there. So you guys are good. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it was in the comments like, hey. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I think that you should be a bit more. <laughs> no, nah, totally these funny, man. But um, yeah, I saw that with her though. But yeah, yeah I, I did. I, did I say anything that I? Your most misconstrued lyric. Maybe you did say something that was probably the truth, but a lot of people just took it the wrong, wrong way. way. The STDs that I got. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. All right. 
Mm-hmm. Why would I say that happily in the song? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like that and wasn't the song was true. Rumors. And the song was called Rumours, yeah. but it's like that wasn't true. But it's like I said it and they said I thought, mm, mm, and mm, because they said so many man, mm-hmm. you know, and it's just kind of like, hey, let's address it. Mm-hmm. And that addressing got me here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. That was Real a fun talk. video. I can't lie. I love, I I love, like I love that video. Really 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 like you know, I'm very hands on. Mm-hmm. I have a vision. I have a dream. <laughs> and okay, I- Mama Luther. <laughs> <laughs> I had a vision. I had a dream, and I had a camera. <laughs> you said, "Why not? Let's go for it." Yeah, because you know what? I realized the rumors were stopping me from. Um, progressing Mm -hmm. every time i drop a song and try to ignore it yeah people say oh you're gonna just that you for you know that really affected me really like yeah because i I was working with a lot of people and Mm -hmm. they stopped working with me and from what what, from the song or just from the rumors rumors. Rumors. yes and from there i pray it was the downfall of men in my life wow from that day so people should be very careful you know when you say things about people because it actually affects them like Mm. from there I swear to God, mm. hand on my heart, every man from there has been trash. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Because in London, they're very like, they care about image, the yeah. boys that you date. Mm. So it's like, oh, if I have a girl that's apparently out here fucking everybody, or that's, oh, mm. you know, she's got STDs, or oh my God, like now she's just, they're going to stay away. Really? They're not going to take you seriously. That's how they are. Mm. And that's why I came And that's here. why you now came <laughs> to Nigeria. Because and Nigeria men Nigeria will Nigeria accept men. you. And that, you know what? Nigerian men are just like... <laughs> who you are? I mean? Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa. Nigerian you know men are what? I really like them, you know. Oh, you do? Mm. Okay. How are Nigerian men different from Ivorian men? Hey, I don't date Ivorian men. I knew I you were going to say that. Why? <laughs> no, there has to be a reason. <laughs> Have you been there before, though? I yes, mean, I've been okay. there. It's mm-hmm. just, they're just not my type. What is it about them that's not your type? Yeah, I'm curious. I like men that know who they are. So they don't know who they are? No, hey, I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> disclaimer, disclaimer. <laughs> I'm not saying Ivorian because my dad's Ivorian. So when okay. I look at my dad, I know how they are. Mm-hmm. They're just very, I think they're very, I can't speak on all of them though, because they're going to come and. They don't have Oh, je all the French, I don't get it. I just don't, I just, honestly, I don't know what they got going on. Mm. I just, I'm attracted to Ivorian. I mean, Sorry about Nigerian. that. Nigerian. I'm attracted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm attracted to Nigerian men. Mm. I like them, man. I really do. What do you, what do you like them? the most about yeah. Nigerian men? You know what? I like, you see, okay, you see, because I, I'm a rapper, right? Mm. And I'm very, what, you guys say what braggadocious. Mm. Yes. They're very braggadocious. Yes. And I take it. Mm. I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I like them for their personalities. And when they when they know who they are, mm-hmm. they know who they are. So I, it's like when I'm around them, I'm not around them for anything. I just want to take that confidence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I want to like rub on them. Oh, for and then so mm-hmm. come on me. Yeah. And then when after that, they say, oh, you're too braggy now. I'll go from you. Oh, <laughs> you learn from the best. I, I learn from you. <laughs> Have so. you dated any public figures? Nigerian public figures. Nigeria, sorry. Nigerian public figures who are out there, out there. <laughs> like out there out there maybe yes okay. why maybe I aren't you sure who you dated no I have dated people mm-hmm. yeah yeah how? why not though why not how why not, why not? <laughs> like, I'm not judging you. let's be Vanessa, honest let's put it I'm, I'm, not judging, I'm not even judging her why she think I'm judging her <laughs> no, because so, you know what let me tell you why I did tell me yeah? why baby hey why? I'm 26 <laughs> yeah yeah mm-hmm. and let me tell you something I'm gonna be very honest here you know like a lot of females mm-hmm. They come into the game, right? And you're talking to people you never would have thought you would ever speak to. Mm. Yeah. I'm just saying the advice I would give the ladies is just calm down. Mm. Like, it, I know it's very overwhelming because it's like you're getting attention from people that people would be paying to see, mm. lining up. Mm-hmm. But it's like at the same time, it's like, you know, I, I'm young. So I see like, sometimes I see older ladies saying that, you know, enjoy your youth. Yeah. Like, yeah. Enjoy yeah. all the time. Enjoy, enjoy your youth. <laughs> Enjoy Please your enjoy youth. Your like, youth. Yeah. I don't play. Like I really enjoy my youth. Yeah. I, yes. I'm not gonna. Like, I enjoy talking to men. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not a lesbian. I'm not gonna. I enjoy mm-hmm. talking to men. I enjoy talking to men that travel. I enjoy talking. To, it's like I. I have fun. It's fun mm-hmm. because then when I end up settling down, it's like you know what. 
I did what Been I there, did. Done that. I'm, exactly. like, I'm not gonna like yeah. shy away from it. I feel like we should stop lying here. Yes. You know, I enjoy it. I have fun with it. It's fun. Like, why would I not want to be whisked away on a private jet one day? Or I'm, I'm in bed. Next thing you know, I'm on a jet. Why wouldn't I want to do that? True. Mm. It's fun. It is. And fun. I deserve it. I deserve it. <laughs> yes. We all do. Yeah. What is your ideal husband, Vanessa? <laughs> this she has to think about. It's always this. <laughs> this. I'm just curious. Okay, like, my ideal husband. Yes. All right. Somebody who's very, 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 very caring. Like you, my friend taught me, like, what do you say? You mind me. Is that what you guys say? What do you mean? Like you, you consider me. You can, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like, before you, like you can, oh, you go out. Oh, she would like that. Because yeah. a lot of men actually mm-hmm. not like that, you know? Mm-hmm. So like, I want someone to actually think okay. about me and yeah. actually know you're thinking about me. Little mm-hmm. things. Oh, so the guy I'm talking to now, he, that's exactly how he is. The Nigerian guy. Yes. Okay. Right? So he go, he'll go out, he'll buy something. Oh, here, I thought you were like this. <laughs> I'm like, look at God, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and someone that, everything I want, I think he actually has. Obviously, mm. I'm just going to say you because you never know. Mm-hmm. But it's like, you know what? It's like someone that's considerate, mm. someone that's very kind, mm-hmm. someone that doesn't want to argue. Right. Mm. I don't like argumentative people because I've already got a lot going on, mm-hmm. you know? And men don't like women that stress them either. True. I don't mm-hmm. like to argue either. So I think we should just always be on the right page. And the man that is very like, he's just, he knows what he wants with you. Mm. Like he doesn't see me as a sexual object or Mm -hmm. when you call me you just call me for sex Mm. no Mm -hmm. he doesn't Mm -hmm. every time it's like and when sorry I have to write (laughs) I love it (laughs) how I know I like someone yeah it's like Mm -hmm. when you're around them Mm -hmm. it's like you're around your friend yeah Mm -hmm. not everything is sexual Mm -hmm. not everything is like I have to think about what I'm saying to you you know how I'm with you it's Mm -hmm. just normal a conversation we can talk to and it's Mm -hmm. deep I like Mm -hmm. a spiritual man as well because Mm -hmm. You know, my dad's a pastor. I pray yes. a lot. I can't lay in bed with someone that doesn't have God in them. It's mm. like laying with a stranger. Mm. I know I'm fun and stuff, but God is my, like, honestly, my number one. Mm. So it's like, I can't be with a man who doesn't know God. Mm-hmm. And that's what I need. And God first and then the rest will follow because a man that knows God has all the qualities. No, all right. He has it. Mm-hmm. So what would you say to people who feel that you shouldn't necessarily... You shouldn't necessarily have this close relationship with God because of the music that you do. Ha ha. That's funny. Because- <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me. Ha ha. <laughs> Let me tell you why that's funny. God loves to use people, yeah, mm-hmm. who, who people judge. He really loves to use people like that because God is not the God that you, you can predict, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So it's like he uses people like myself Mm. that is like how can this person look what she's doing but it's like you if you read the bible you see so many people he's used there's so many examples oh there's so many examples Mm -hmm. so it's like when people today continuously judge me i'm just thinking like it it doesn't make any sense to me because i'm obviously going through a stage that you know as to be a christian it's not a automatic chain no it's not and i know that this career is a blessing for me because it works Mm -hmm. you know and it's like if god doesn't want me to do it everything would just keep going it it would just be terrible Mm. but it's like god blesses people in mysterious ways so when people judge me oh your dad's a pastor you're doing this you're doing that i'm trying my best to now stop being provocative Mm -hmm. now i'm like you have to at least try at least try you know so it's like now i'm like okay let me step away let me lead a good example a little bit because Mm -hmm. it's like i am a child of god Mm. so like i I don't want to die. And he's like, you know what? I gave you the platform. You took the piss. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, it's, it's being a Christian is a journey. Yeah. So just, I, I would say, just trust the process. Mm. And at least I'm trying, mm. you know? Yeah. I'm trying. It's, it's, it's nice that you say that you're trying because- uh, Some I, people don't try. Which is- don't give a fuck. Uh, which, I is, which is interesting. But yeah. for you, I feel that I, I was kind of blown away when I looked at your stories and you were giving out to charity. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, so, Recently. Is, so, so is that like, is that, is, that, is that an example of you trying? You came to Nigeria and, you know, you were giving out um, um, food. Tolani, do you not agree? I was giving agree? out money. <laughs> I mean, I do charity work. What inspired that? Agree? What made you say, you know what? Today I'm going to do charity work. What inspired that? Hey, I'm going to be honest, right? Mm-hmm. First of all, <laughs> first of all, I do that anyway. 
behind okay. cameras All because right. you know yeah. sometimes you just have to show them hey you have to show them because people think you're not doing anything right. mm. so sometimes yeah. as a public figure you need to show you it but to. it's like you know yeah. if i if i didn't want to show it i wouldn't have to right yeah. but obviously like i said the guy i'm speaking to such a lovely man mm. why don't you post that you're doing that mm. oh okay why? so he was why, the one who suggested that why babe yeah. okay. and that is the man you need because mm. somebody that is actually like that's someone that's on your corner yes mm-hmm. he knows that okay you doing that is even though I didn't, you know, oh, I don't want to post that all the time. It's mm. good for your brand too. You know, right. Yeah, you know, like, and because I, I keep coming to Nigeria, it's like, I don't want them to think that it's just like, oh, because, you, you know, people do need help. And I don't want them to think, oh, I'm just coming just to club and stuff. Like, I mm. actually really want to help people. Yeah. Mm. And uh, above that, I don't want to talk about what I do. But, you know, like, I really give money to people on Snapchat. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't want to oh, say that because they're going to yeah, mess with me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like, some girl would mess with me. Oh, hey, babe, on oh, my birthday. All right, send me your account details. Oh, really? Oh, Twitter. Oh, mm-hmm. I need Pamper. All right, send me your account okay. details. Yeah. But I don't need to post it because yeah. God sees that I'm yeah, doing that. True. You know, but yeah. it's like, just this time I posted it because he was mm. like, oh, I'll just post it. Yeah. I was mm. like, all right, babe. <laughs> why not? All right, babe, why not? But yeah. Why not? And that's, the, I like him, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like I that do. you like him. Now let's even talk about, <laughs> let's talk about X on the beach. Oh. Um. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first time doing reality TV. Yeah, TV. <laughs> this is the queen of reality TV. <laughs> that's what. Right, you should have. You should have reached out to I, her. I face. knew where she was going no, on it. Though. She's on my private. Knew, yeah. Yeah, she's she's on she, she knew. Oh, okay. I saw where she yeah. was prepping. She knew. Oh, oh really? Yes, yeah. so because she's on my. She's on my circle. Okay, <laughs> my okay. green circle. Okay. Tony's always there, <laughs> and it's very interesting, yo. Okay, <laughs> so interesting. Yeah, so, so Tony, about ex on the beach. Why yes. did you decide to go um, for reality TV? Did you not think that that would be another platform where you most likely would be misunderstood? No. Okay. Because, you know, it's very hard for me, yeah? When cameras are around 24-7, you cannot pretend that much. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know what I'm t- You mm. get yeah, it. So it's like, I, I'm not going to lie. I did it for myself because mm-hmm. I wanted okay. to see what I look like, mm-hmm. you know? Okay. And I was like, you know what? If this is what I actually look, I want to see what I look like, right? Mm-hmm. And it was an experience. I'm always the first one to try new things. And I feel like reality TV, I have such a big personality. It's like, mm-hmm. what, that's another field that I could tap into. Because mm-hmm. reality TV are for people that are not shy. Mm-hmm. They don't really give a heck about what people think. Mm-hmm. And I did it because love is a thing that I really shy away from. I don't put my relationships out there. I'm not a, like, you know, you don't see me with a man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even you, though we know you Even man. if we do, we won't know who it is. You wouldn't know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tony messed with me today. She's like, hey, who you with? Because... <laughs> She was like, so she's like, you're not even snapping who you're with. I was like, is it babe? She's like, babe. <laughs> <laughs> you're not snapping who you're around. I was like, hey. I'm like, it's not making sense. Why are you always alone? Are you sure you're okay? You sure you're okay? I'm not alone. You know, but yeah. it's like, so for example, TV is like love was something I, I shied away from. Mm. So I was like, let me do something. I, I love to show people that I'm evolving. Mm-hmm. And, th- and X on the Beach was me showing my vulnerable side mm. and because my tape remember i'm very strategic mm. my tape is there's some love songs in there okay. so i'm not gonna go and do a love song and then you're like you don't even show that mm. what the hell so if you see this x on the beach and then you see the tape it makes sense, okay. it makes sense. You that's were really there, me but you were literally there for three episodes i really liked that guy for four days i did i was so, there for four days but did, so do you <laughs> believe in like love as first sight yes. love as all those you like know. all those all those conceptions you i didn't that? love him i really liked him be for real i was there for four days babe i liked him I so did. was that why like you just couldn't take it and you just had to like you know walk away you saw that yes i did baby i did my research but girl. did they show the, the main <laughs> reason no the main that reason why the main that, reason. that was the main reason no, there was something you posted your close friends list though uh, what you had to- well I'm not there so I won't okay know. did they show that part they no? didn't they, the okay, screen okay. went black okay <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. okay cool you know thank but, god they didn't show that but at least know. what we got okay. to see what yeah. we got to see I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna take it back I don't regret anything that's me when I'm angry totally see me angry mm-hmm. I go zero to a hundred because Real I don't quick. like feeling disrespected especially when it comes to men mm. and I felt like he disrespected me your ex yes, came back actually he did, right? He did, he did. Your ex came back, you were quiet, you didn't defend me. And that's an insecurity for me. Because I feel like I used to date a lot of guys here yeah, that is like, they want to keep me a secret. Mm, and how yeah. can you keep me a secret in my face? I feel like he ghosted me in real life. Mm-hmm. Okay. You, like he was quiet when his ex came. Yeah. And that's a big insecurity for me. I don't know why. It's because I feel like if I'm so public and out there, I want someone to be confident. Mm. Why don't you want to show this? Me? Oh. Why? So why do you feel a guy would not want to show 
IVD off though. Do you know why? Because they don't trust me. That mm. I feel like they think if I put this girl out there and another nigga messages me and tells me, it's embarrassing. Men don't like embarrassment. Mm. And I generally feel like they can't comprehend that a beautiful woman can actually just be speaking to one man. Mm -hmm. They cannot, and mm. you beautiful ladies would understand. Mm -hmm. True. They don't get it. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, they just think, you know what? I'd rather not. Mm -hmm. put her out there because I don't want embarrassment or they're just doing their own thing as well they yeah, have several, and they don't necessarily want to yeah, they don't want the problems and then, but True. I just realised you know what I used to oh it doesn't matter if you talk to this girl it doesn't matter like oh I'm fine with it but I do care because yeah. I should be a parry and if I'm not a parry I'm stepping away from the mm -hmm. situation as you should period oh my god <laughs> <laughs> okay so you mentioned that you were in a bad deal right yes um what can you tell us about that deal and what advice would you give to other artists out there to avoid you know getting into the mistake that you were in touching on the deal because i can't speak on it that much mm -hmm. for legal reasons yeah but i feel like the advice i'd give artists is you know there's a lot of tiktok artists nowadays it's like you know you make one song on tiktok you blow up mm. right and then labels come and you think you know, oh my God, wow, this is the big opportunity. Mm -hmm. You see money you've never seen before. I saw money I've never seen before in my whole entire life, yeah? Money that can change my family's life. Mm -hmm. Why would I not take it? That was my mindset, right? Mm -hmm. So I took it and then you realize that it's like, you start to feel controlled. You know, certain decisions that you would have made independently. Now everything is, you know, labels come with delay. Mm. Oh, I want to put independent. I'm putting this out tomorrow. True. Label. No, we need a strategic. We need to yeah. do this. And it's like, oh my God. And then your fans don't understand that. And then they're thinking, oh, now everything's slowed down. But, you know, I would just say that, like, that's why it slowed me down. Mm. Because obviously labels are good when you're at the same pace and they believe in your vision. Yes. But if you're just signing to people that don't believe in you, and I'm sure a lot of African artists have been through this. Oh, I see all so many, the time. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they see the opportunity, they grab it. But remember, it, there's no friends in this game. There's no trust. Everything is business. Right. And I've learned that everything is transactional. Mm -hmm. So don't look at them as in they're changing your life because remember, you are the artist. Mm -hmm. This is your career. Mm -hmm. This is your idea. So mm -hmm. advice I would give, try to do independent with a distribution deal. Mm -hmm. That way you're more free. That's better. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So you've been talking about Nigerian <laughs> men, Nigerian men, Nigerian men. Give, yeah. Giving yeah. them don't good say PR. Like, like I've been like, like, German this, Nigerian, Nigerian men is just amazing. Yes. Oh hey, so no, but really, let's be honest. Everybody loves them. We do. But have they, broke, have they broken your hearts? Have Nigerian men <laughs> ever broken your hearts before? Have you chopped breakfast? Have you chopped That's what the we call breakfast? It, yeah. yeah, you know, you know, I used to date like a Nigerian man. Actually, when I was, I was in a relationship when I was like maybe six years ago. Mm -hmm. And he was like cheating on me all the time. And I was like, why? <laughs> Vanessa. What the hell? You know, and I was like, what the hell? And then I just feel like, you know, with Nigerian men, they, okay, let me be honest. I really do like them, but it's like, they're so like, it's not fair that you have to just go to their ways. Mm. You know, it's like, you're, you're, ne you're never, go you're never going to be the only one. I don't mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. you know, especially if you're an artist. It's like, no, I am the only one in my world. Mm. So how come when I'm with you now, I have to be like, wait for my turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's real. That's actually no, that's real. For real. That's, that's for real. real. You always have to wait for your turn. Yeah. You might see them with other people. It's not nice. It's not and and, and I, I like don't even feel that when there is money. Trust me, you are not the only one. Why are they okay? And I get like that. the richer the guy, I feel the more money. But you know I mean, what? The more, the more babes that and, there will be. I mean, right, even if the guy fine. had money, right, and he had other girls, would you still stay? Hey. I used to be like that because okay. you know what? Sometimes, let me be honest. Sometimes, yeah, somebody will come to you and you look at them. I have to be real, like a God. Mm. I put my hands up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you look, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I've that done Nigerian it. packaging. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's so perfect. Mm. Yeah. They come so per anything you want, they provide it for you. You know, they buy you anything you want. It's so nice. Mm. Normal men cannot, you cannot do it. Mm. But is it worth it? Because you're not feeling, and you know, that's how I know I love my self-worth mm -hmm. because no amount of money, I can't be bought, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. In the beginning, yes, I can. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, it's like, oh, you buy me this, you buy me this, it's nice. But it's like, at the same time, you realize, it's you just, it, 
You want to be married. You want more. Mm. I feel like with them, even if you're married, you're still single. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because they're real. single. When we said Why this, we like they that? were angry with us. We, 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 we said it on the podcast mm-hmm. now. Oh, they're going to be... Hey, let me say something. But that's real. <laughs> but that's let real. me say something, guys, because I'm just an Ivorian in Nigeria, right? <laughs> and I've dated... You know, every man I've dated has been Nigerian. Every man? Mm-hmm. I dated one Jamaican. Oh, the worst. It didn't give. You did it. Was, it, it, it didn't give. You've dated Jamaican. Like, yes, when I was in England. Really? How, yes. did that go? how was it? Terrible. This was they don't not drive. Fun. Nothing. I don't want to give full details. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to know how did you go they there? Spent, ah, how? Ah, how? Ah, how? How was it? How was it? Okay, Sha ended up in police cell. Sha, like I was literally like questioned. What, you hit him. You beat him up? No, like he was into dodgy stuffs. Oh, dodgy stuff like what? I'm not telling you. Like <laughs> LaFrog? Maybe. Oh, okay. Hey. Or maybe even worse. What's your favorite <laughs> man today? Have you only dated Nigerians? Yeah. But I actually want to date Caucasians though. But Why? Why? I don't know. I just feel like they, they can love me how I want to be Should loved. I say my issue with dating Caucasians? I just feel like they don't have that community family thing. So at least bad as it bad, even if you break my heart, maybe there's a sister or there's a cousin mm. or there's just someone in your family. At least I know someone. Mm, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But white people, I just feel like it's probably just him and maybe his mama that you know and his mom will not even acknowledge you. Oh, so you miss the culture pro- in Yeah, the- there's like a culture thing. It's like a culture Let, let me try divide. it first. Me, I just want to even try it first. Let me at least see how they love because all I know right now is Nigerian love. I've never dated an American guy before. Never dated a guy in the UK. So Are I you in a t- relationship? No, but I'm talking to somebody. How's it going? Sweet. You're smiling, so. <laughs> she said, I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> it's, well, you know what? It's not a relationship. It it, it's a situation. See, yeah. Nigerian, that, why is it like that with them? But that's because how it always is. I actually out accept here, that what it is. But can I say something? I've accepted it for what it is. Why, though? Because I'm happy. <laughs> what are you happy about? Doing, so doing would I want want to Tony would rather cry in a Rolls Royce than cry in a in a downfall in a downfall is or a bus. There's, a, there's a possibility, I sister, but I don't sister. care. Sister, I don't sister, care. Sister, 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 sister. Baby, get this Nigeria no, man. Don't give me advice. No, 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 don't give me. Let me deal. Let me deal with what I have. Don't spoil it, Vanessa. No, I need advice. Yes, she does. She's dating a Nigerian man. Hey. No, he's amazing. He doesn't. But there are other girls who. But you know that he's amazing. He may have some. Because you don't live here. But then again, no one's perfect. Out of sight is out of mind. You understand? The moment you leave, he's talking to the. No, but he doesn't live here. Live here. Oh, he doesn't. Where does he live? Everywhere. And guess what? I'm right there with him. Oh, so you go everywhere with him. When he travels, I travel too. Oh, I like yeah. that. I like yeah. that, dude. That was Guess different. what? I know, even though I know how they are, you'll be right beside them and they're still cheating, right? Of course. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I want to ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Why? So what am I supposed to do? Because what? <laughs> ask me now. She's like, why? What? How? <laughs> she asked so many questions. Do do? Because you know what? I really like them. Mm-hmm. But why? Uh, so, okay. So if you know someone else is there, mm. you just leave it? I just leave it. Tell me why. Because I live in Nigeria. That's because the culture no here. Stress. So like, like, like you stress. stressing yourself. Like, I just, you know what? When I was younger, though, if I was talking to a guy and I found out that he was talking to another guy, okay. I would dip, right? Okay, but right. the older I get, I, I realize that regardless, you will never be the only one. Even guys that are married right now, you think you're the only one. It's a lie. They are cheating. So I'm just comfortable. Would you date a married man? Be honest. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't date a married man. Hmm. Would you? Hey. I think you would. It's okay. I won't judge you. You know, I wouldn't judge myself either. Yeah. Hey, you would, no, let me tell you something. You, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Hey, I'm you wouldn't know he's married. No, if he said to me, I'm no, married. No, you would know. You would know he's married. No, trust me. In Nigeria, I might not know, you you know immediately. Know. After when they're research. with you, they just, they just take after, this thing off and you're right, babe. After, they, after should research, I tell you why it's harder? Know. Why I feel like you would know in Nigeria? How will you Because know? of this community thing. There's nobody that will not know that guy. Okay, so you, you wouldn't know. Do you understand? Yeah, maybe on the second date. But I mean, as a Nigerian girl living out here, there's no way you don't know. That's a very silly excuse. You know maybe during the second date. That's it. Oh, how how he, he didn't know he was he married. Probably you know. see you at night. He probably only responds to you at a certain period of time. It's just Oh, you go to his house and you see a pram, right? You there. might you might never <laughs> even know his house. You might never even know his house. <laughs> Hello. Well, you oh, you see a house. baby seat in his car. Like, you will okay. see the signs, uh, do you, girl. Do you, do you ask so you don't say anything? 
Honestly, because was... imagine you're in the situation now. Do you are mm, you married or not? Oh no, I always ask. Do you... It's actually my first question. One of my first questions. So if you said yes, do you get up and walk away? Or you finish the meal. What do you do? <laughs> Look, wait, wait, wait. Um, I need to know. Um, Be honest, because wow. I'm gonna finish the meal. For me, yes, I will finish the meal. Die on the line. I will finish the meal. Yeah, and then I guess I will decide what I want to do after the meal. Do you know okay, what I mean? but okay. most times my decision is. We don't, yes. we don't carry on. Have you ever dated <laughs> a married man before, though? Why do we got a question? Why are you asking me that? Because she asked no me. No girl will stand here and say yes. <laughs> Level, no girl is going to come on this big, big, big thing and I don't say, know. But yes. She could have said no, but she did say no. So maybe no. there's a yes. I'm not I think right I've man. dated someone that, let's be real here. Hey, I think I've dated someone that's married and I didn't know. Mm-hmm. And, and that's fair I for you. I didn't know. Like if you're a Nigerian man. girl, I'll say that's you're a very silly girl. Okay, but didn't I didn't know. Yeah. Because you're not Nigerian. And I think I found okay. out and then I cut him off. Mm-hmm. But that's hey, cool. that's not my fault. Mm-hmm. You know, they take advantage of foreign girls like me. Mm-hmm. Yes, they you do. You know, they do. Oh, yes, oh they she do. ain't gonna know anything. But I also just feel that foreign girls too, like, open your eye now. No, they're so naive. You don't open your eye now. Because they don't know a lot. But you've definitely heard stories. You've heard, you've heard stories. So it's like, you're coming to Nigeria. Why are you acting naive? You should at least at the back of your head be like, mm. She's a hey. The fact that this guy is remember, not, hey. remember he's married though. Then go no. and now ask your Tolanese or your friends, your Nigerian friends. No, how about no, this no, guy? No. Wait, 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 wait. How about wait. One thing about IBD though, she's gonna send me a guy's page and tell me what you know about and, him. And I like that. That's and what, what I mean. She got to tell me what's up. What about him? And that's what I mean. I, mean, I, I feel like, like foreign girls should do that. Can I tell you something about but foreign me? girreign girls will come to Nigeria. Tell they feel that or because they're foreign, they're special. So maybe they shouldn't ask questions. Let me tell you something about me. Girl, ask questions, but I. Follow who no road. Okay. We no road. All right, but <laughs> even if you ask the questions, they love sometimes like Nigerian men are very good at um what's it called? Love bombing. Love bombing. As in, let me yeah. say something. Oh, yeah, guy, yeah. Let me let me be honest. There's this guy, right? He love bombed me so, <laughs> so much. Maybe he was married. No, he no, he wasn't married. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Single man. Mm-hmm. He love bombed me so much. Sometimes you feel like you, you, it's like a you're, you you don't you can't see anybody like <laughs> you can't leave. <laughs> it's like no, because even though you know, no one's gonna do that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sometimes, but it's like you know you have to be strong. You yes. have to be. Mm-hmm. That's prayer and fasting. You have to be strong because I agree. they're so good at just making you feel like they're the only, only one. one. Mm. And as soon as you leave them, and that's my thing. When a man makes me feel like I'm the only one, way that's too why much. you should be careful. Oh, way that's, too soon. Way too, too soon. Way too soon. That's, that's when, like, when you should be careful. Something's not adding up here. That's when you should be careful. Yeah. Well, you know, let's just see how this one goes. Um, you know, I really do I wish, wish you the best, darling. I, I wish, do wish you myself good luck, the best. Honestly, I do. Mm-hmm. I know the girls who want to see who it is. You will not. I'm very yes, private. Uh, yeah. My dear, don't do. She would never. Never oh, sure. She knows, knows me. She knows no, no, better no, no, than no, that. No, no, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. foreign girls do. You will never know. Some foreign girls just like, oh, nah, nah. I'm dating him. Totally, I'm, and, and they take so pictures yeah. and they post his car oh, and nah, they post his nah, house. Nah, those, nah. those are girls that are new to the game. I'm because you, trust me, see, yeah, babe, it's giving the day you post that thing, the day you post that thing, I don't mean to upset you, but the day you post that thing, I will never. You know, that's where your happiness will stop. Let me tell you something. The only time I want to be happy, the only time I post things like that is in my circles. Mm-hmm. I show their face. Mm-hmm. I show because you know what? Someone there will know who he is, yeah. but they're the friends that, like, you know, totally you seen it, it all, together. mate. Yeah. She's seen it all. She's seen <laughs> you on day one. Keep my mouth the shut. next day, I want another one. And she messages me so cute. So do you in like multiple dating if you are single. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> no, she does. No, she yes. Shout out to you. Why? Why do you believe in multiple dating? Why? Let me tell you why. One, I believe in multiple dating because I don't believe in putting your eggs in one basket. Thank you. Only because I I like to put myself first. And I feel like, like I said, I always go as I'm young, right? How will you find the one if you don't Without test all the water, checking, true. it doesn't mean you have to have sex with them. Yes. I, you know what? I'm a strong believer in holding off mm. because I, you know, I've, let me be honest, I've dated some guys here where they're so pushy. Mm. I can tell this is just what you want then. So now I'm not going to give it to you even more, mm. you know, but it's like the guys that kind of like, you know, some people say, oh, when you don't have sex and you wait for a bit, it doesn't matter because no, but it actually does matter mm-hmm. because you realize that, you know, men are so sexual. Mm-hmm. There's just sex, sex, sex. I've realized, you know, if I date a, a lot of guys mm. and, you know, you just, 
they drop out one by one because they can't be bothered. Mm. Are you taking too long? The real ones stand. Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. And the fake ones reveal themselves. Mm-hmm. And sex is the way. And whenever I meet them, I wear sexy outfits. <laughs> I wear bra. <laughs> you know, I put my bum out. Oh, can-, can you resist? <laughs> <laughs> Can you resist? So you tap them intentionally. I love it. You love tempting them. So you don't have Eve. And I post them Temptress. the same way. You see me. You see me. Oh, like I'm in love. I lie. I lie. Oh, so do you not so this one? Okay, not this, this one. one. I like no. This but, one but, I really but, like. But him. you do believe that you know, like women should sort of not necessarily like outrightly nope. lie, but, but they're doing it. You know, be a bit like mm-hmm. smart with how you I mingle think, with these men. I think a woman should enjoy dating. Yes. Mm-hmm. Especially in her twenties. Mm-hmm. I think you mm. should enjoy dating. You should enjoy dinners. You should yes. enjoy um, luxury lifestyle. Yes. You should enjoy not having to pay for things with your own money. Okay. You should enjoy somebody comforting you and complimenting you mm. because you know what? Hey, we're going to get married. Well, yeah. You know, and it's like, <laughs> you want to turn back and say, you know what? At least I did it. At mm. least I lived life. You know, I put my hands up. <laughs> and I, look, I've dated some guys. <laughs> you know this, I, I, I'm gonna be, that's why I told that guy on X on the Beach. Do you know who, who I am? Been with? I, let me tell you something. And then, <laughs> this thing. I've dated some guys. And do I regret it? No. No. Because I had a great experience. Mm-hmm. I don't hate you. I don't want them to think I hate them. Mm. I just want them to know our chapter is closed. Mm-hmm. Found someone else now. Drops mics. All oh, right. <laughs> Guess what? They're the same. They, you know what? Thank you for my time. No, 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 no. They're the same. How? Come on, girl. Men are the same because. I believe in being honest. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm so transparent. A lot of men like me because I told them, you know what, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't really like the way you're moving. And you know, mm. talking to someone, just be honest with me. Do you feel like you're gonna see someone else? I'm so transparent. And yeah, let me, me tell too. you a trick that I do. What you doing? I'm gonna put it out there, which is annoying. Please let me learn. Uh, <laughs> this is what I say to a guy, yeah. You know, like if you're gonna cheat on me, like I just, I just don't want to find out because mm. it's just like, oh, like just I get it. Just don't let me find out, okay? Like, because I just don't want to see But don't that. you think if you say that, that's you just giving you, them the leeway? You're giving them permission. You're exactly. giving them the whole pass. Exactly. It's mm-hmm. a joke. Because now I know if you're going to do it, I pretend that it's fine. That's an expensive joke, baby girl. I love it. No, because then I know. No, but I know who you really Because are. trust me, this man, they are. will take that joke yeah, seriously. Yeah, and then I will leave. Because they, now I know they, who you they are. They might even bring that joke to your face. Yes, to your front door. And to your front door, like <laughs> she wouldn't mind. She means that she you don't mind. She doesn't care. Silly girl. Why not? That's good. Do you guess? That's good. Please. All right, well, well, actually, I'm talking talking, talking about um, you know women and men. Um, I found out, or at least I've researched that you are bisexual. Let me tell you something about that, right? Mm. You know, I'm twenty. Twenty. I'm in my twenties. Like, oh, in your twenties, okay. <laughs> I'm twenty six, right? Mm. You know, sometimes I watch my interviews and I say, "Hey, I don't Why feel like did that I say anymore." That? Okay, no, never like that. Okay. it's never regret. Okay, never. Regret. I never okay. regret my life. Mm-hmm. It's always a phase. Mm-hmm. So Tolini knows. Let's be honest. I've even I know said to Tolini, at this point. Tolini, let's kiss. She Tolini said, is like best she, friend. She declined. I was like, "All right." Did you ever kiss Tolini? Remember in the car? Let's be. <laughs> I remember. Okay. okay. Yeah, more, you've asked me to. Are you asked? Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Oh. No, oh. Me too. Oh. Yes. I actually want you. You did. No, no. Please just clarify. Why, why would you not kiss me? Why would you not kiss me? No, you asked me if I like girls. <laughs> Simple problem. No, she asked me if I like girls. Too. Why are you telling me? So, I feel like so you do. What does that mean about me? I feel like you do. What does that do with me? I just see your question, girl. I'm too scared to try it. Do you like girls? Because I might like it. I feel like I fancy, you I fancy, fancy girls. girls. Yeah, okay. So the thing is, right, the re- only reason why I haven't tried is because I feel like I might like it. So like that's why I'd rather not even <laughs> divulge. I hate this girl so much. How can she say this? I like- enjoy, you know, I enjoy. Do you want to kiss right now? <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm scared of what Nigerians hey. will think. Hey. Nigerians. You I'll enjoy. You enjoy. I enjoy. <laughs> I feel like women are very beautiful. The, okay. You know, I really enjoy them. Mm-hmm. I would not be in a relationship with a woman. All right, I but you not. don't mind being intimate with a woman. One hundred and ten percent. I would not mind. How it. does that intimacy work, though? Like, what do you do? When, you know, I wouldn't know. Female intimacy. Ask me. Are you sure you've you? So you've never been intimate with a woman ever. Never. Year? Why? Forty years in this country. God forbid. Okay, well, Wait, where was you before? Scared. Who me? I was in England. Oh, her. She was in England. Yeah. Same way you didn't know I was in America. Wow. Okay. Look at all these people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you know why I enjoy it? Mm-hmm. I like breast. 
Oh, really? And bum. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why would I not press it? <laughs> <laughs> You know why I'm laughing at myself? Because I, I remember this is Nigeria. <laughs> you don't live here, so that's a good thing. <laughs> but that's a good thing. Hey, man, this is me. I know Nigerians are, they, I'm not saying that they said, that's what they said, that mm. you guys are a bit like, oh, no, it might be a big outrage when I say this. But, you know, you should be yourself. Because I don't feel like, I, you know, I feel like a lot of Nigerian people are, they, I've kissed a lot of Nigerian girls in the clubs. I'm going to be honest with you. You guys are not saints. <laughs> I've, I've, I've entertained and I've dated a lot of Nigerian girls. Do you mean in Nigeria or in, in England? In this Lagos, mm-hmm. I've dated and kissed a lot of girls Ooh. and they thought I was so sexy and I feel like they're so sexy. So don't come okay. here and try to tell me, oh, it's wrong mm. because they're doing it. But behind yeah. the scenes, of Nigerian are. girls are freaky. Mm. And I like it. Uh, <laughs> I like it. But I want to be with a man at the mm. end. Yes. That's real. So you are definitely team. I know Tolini likes team girls, period. Dickly, lickly, I know dickly, you dickly, do. Yeah. Dickly. I know you like girls. How do you know I like I girls? Know. I don't know. All I did was ask a question. I, I only asked the question to find out things that what? Why, why don't you understand Move. how? I just asked you a question. But don't you think girls are so like, but beautiful? Girls, no, they are absolutely like, beautiful. If you watch my stories, I'm always posting pretty girls. They're so beautiful. It doesn't Why would you, have, you, have, you know, have you know ever kissed a girl before? You've kissed I don't a know. Before. I don't know. Have you kissed she a girl before? Said no. <laughs> Yeah, I have. Did, Did you enjoy it? it? Yeah, it was cute. It was weird at games night, actually. So why didn't you kiss me when I asked you to kiss me in the car? Because what if I fall in love with you? Oh. So I, from a kiss. From a kiss. Please, that's how I love. That's, that's how, she, that's that's how, how I, I love. If the, if the kiss is passionate, why can't I fall in love? Mm. Mm. With a girl. I don't know if I can fall in love with a girl. I'm not sure. I, I don't I So don't why think. are you not trying to kiss me? I don't understand. So what, just kiss me for fun and bye? No. I exactly why it should never too. happen. Oh, no. I she want to break my heart. No, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't self-project. Gotcha. I wouldn't. <laughs> You know, that's, I think that that's the reason why you're not bisexual because you just so. you just don't want to put I don't the want fact, to like put your hands in the hands of yeah. a woman. Yeah. Why? I'm too scared. Let me know. Let me just yeah. do it, Adam. Adam, let me do it. Guys, Adam, look, do it. Man, look, guys, I just want to look in the camera and be honest with you. You know, if you you don't know me, you're shocked. Oh, she's so wild, right? This is me. I really enjoy my 20s. I'm 26. Once it's done, I'll stop. But it's like, I don't, re- I'm not a shy person. Mm. You know, I really mm. take life how it is. I try everything. I date, I date girls, boys. I do it all because it's like, why not? Mm. I feel like we should stop. I, I really don't look at what people think about me. Only Vanessa does. Mm-hmm. When I'm at bed at night and I think, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Mm-hmm. Probably tonight when I go to bed. Mm-hmm. But it's like, this is me though. I'm so free. I'm mm-hmm. so wild. And I feel like you guys should stop like looking at how, you know, cause when I go to Nigerian clubs, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest with you guys. When you guys are in a club, you're so bougie. Mm-hmm. Why? Bad and bougie. Why don't you twerk? <laughs> and Tolini doesn't. No, there's She's some not bad. Bougie. I'm not bougie. Tolini will be on the pole. Remember, no. <laughs> remember in DNA? There's yeah. some bad. No, there's some bad. There's some bad girls yeah. and there's some bougie girls in the club. Yeah. That's just what it is. How are you? I think I'm bougie. bougie is boring, though. You give me bougie. I'm bougie. But you that's why the bougie. show is called Bad, bad and bougie. bougie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you give me bougie. Yeah. Very, like, classy and, like, yeah, you give me, like, no. No. I can't sis. Tolini gives me like, Tolini reminds me of myself. Cause when I would come in view, I was like, oh, uh-huh. Tolini is a freak. But you know the crazy thing? <laughs> but you know the crazy thing, babe? Zip, Vanessa. Zip your mouth. Do you know zip the crazy mouth. thing, Vanessa? I'm what? actually bad as well. I'm, I'm even okay, better. You, I'm even better than Tolini. I don't know that word. Is she better than you? I don't Trust know. Me. I'm, I'm actually know. better. I know. When we're talking about experiences, Things I've done. I feel like I can learn a lot from you. What's yes, the, what's you can, can, like, I can learn a lot from you. What's, yeah. the, what's the freakiest thing you've okay, done? Yeah, what's the freakiest thing you've done? Give it to us. You're too bougie for that, girl. Yeah. See? <laughs> what's the freakiest thing you've done? You ain't never gonna know. <laughs> never, never, never. Maybe off camera, ooh, you would know. But, All right, but, but, but a good way to sort of like wrap this whole conversation up. Um, I would say, <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> All right, so as this is about being misconstrued. Oh my God, how do you know I was going to ask you that? Like, how are you going to wrap love it you. up? I just know. You know. So just to wrap this up, you mm. know, as I'm the guest, I would just like to end this. <laughs> I would like to end this by saying, you know, hey, don't let them judge you. Mm. And, you know, honestly, 
as you've seen me here, this is me, Tolini. You mm. would know. So I keep saying it because she knows me. Yeah, like you just keep on leaving me out of this. I'm like, all right, my man. Okay, yeah, sorry, Honestly, I don't know you. Honestly, like hand on my heart. Like what yeah. you see is what you get with me. Mm. I feel like you know everyone is gonna judge you. Everyone's gonna think you're something you're not. Mm. Do not let that get the best of you. True. Do not look at comments and let it, you know, for, oh, this is who they say I am. Mm. I gave out money in Nigeria and they were saying, I, I, I read it. I don't read comments as well. I don't do stuff like that because mm. I need to protect my mental health. Yeah. But I saw that they were saying, oh, oh that's so wrong. What, what the fuck? What mm-hmm. do you mean that's wrong mm-hmm. to give people money? Mm. So, you know, you should never, ever, ever look at comments because these are from people that is like, you go and they're page you know and they're sad they're miserable it's, people it's, it's, it's so you know so as we are talking about misconstrued yes i am very misconstrued yes, but i are. don't need to prove myself to anybody mm. if you know me you know me i'm very happy with how i am mm-hmm. and as long as you're happy within yourself that's you'll all be that okay. matters as long as god let me let me say something <laughs> <laughs> preach on sister hey <laughs> as long as remember at the end of the day this is all got to do with God's judgment. Mm. So God is the final say. Your life is never planned. What I'm doing right now, he knows I'm wild. God knows these things, but Mm. at the end, there's a plan for me. Mm. You know, God said in Jeremiah, I knew you before you was born. As in, right? you read the scriptures here. No, Jeremiah, what, what, what? Jeremiah, Jeremiah one verse five. five. I knew you before you were born. So, you know, don't let them judge you. Yeah. God has the final say. And that's all I have to say. Love wow. it. Absolutely. And so amazing. I love Nigeria with all my heart. We love you too. Honestly, no, honestly, I, I love Nigeria so much. And I feel mm. like people can tell because mm. I'm always here. They, so when know, are you back? When are you back? I don't ever want to go. Oh. Like, I really don't want to leave. I, like, I just feel like you guys are just, oh, you're so you're God's favorite. Yeah, wow. I don't want to see. I can't lie, we are God's favorite. Yeah, I can't lie. Like, we, we, we are so superior. Yeah, we are. No, but we are like, superior. We we you guys we're are superior. superior. Can I just tell you guys about yourselves? You're just so perfect, so beautiful. Mm. The women are very like every like rich girl is Nigerian. Mm. You know, I've realized every girl with a business, mm. every girl with a, like, that's a hustler. I just they're always Nigerian, and mm. I really learn a lot from you guys. Mm. Call me a beg. I don't care because. You need to learn from them. Hmm. And that's why I'm always here because every time I leave, I step up. Come mm. on, girl. You know what I'm saying? I love, I love, love that for you. We love it. We love it. I love that We love it. Okay, guys. So now it's time for Song of the Week. I really like doing Song of the Week with like people who are least know music <laughs> mm-hmm. and are into listening to music and Damn. make music. <laughs> So IVD, what is your song of, of the week? week? Obviously, I'd have to go for myself first, mm-hmm. which is my HB freestyle. Okay, really loved it. It was just me being me. You know, the flows are impeccable, and I just feel like I just loved how I executed that song. My delivery was amazing, clear, beautiful, mm-hmm. and I love Ashake Lonely at the top. Lonely, and the re- lonely, 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 lonely. Yes, lonely, lonely. and the reason why I like it so much is because I relate. Okay. You yeah. know, like I even down to the video, mm. like I feel like it's so relatable to me. There's just something about it, like I, it really it, it touches my heart. Like, it, why does it, it? Because like, okay, I might not be at the top yet, but I'm in the top in my world. Mm. You know, around everyone, it's me, right? Mm. And it's. It, I don't have friends. Yeah. You know, I don't have so it's very lonely when you're doing your journey to pursue the best version of yourself. Really? It's very lonely and money on your mind because you're just doing this for your family, which mm. is what I do it for. Mm-hmm. Um out here on the road chasing my dream because I know no, no one chasing it for me. <laughs> It's just you. Yeah, it's ju- no one's gonna do this for you, and it's very nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, very good choice. So, lonely, lonely, at, lonely the at the top <laughs> by Ashake. By yeah. Ashake is the song of the week, and also your amazing freestyle. HB freestyle, guys, check it What's out. What's me of HB? I said, been working nonstop, coming like I don't even need sleep anymore. Mm-hmm. I'm living it like I don't even dream anymore. Mm-hmm. Still selling nigga dreams, my PJ Dior. Okay. So, and I said something in the song that I really liked. I said, I'm a reality TV star, rapper, singer, and all the above. Mm. So it's like, I can do anything. It's just mm. a really good freestyle. Please check it out. HB Freestyle, please. HB Freestyle. Mm-hmm. Okay. I like right. that. <laughs> Guys, 
guys, welcome back to our segment called Who Fumble. <laughs> so today we are going to be discussing Sharon Oja, mm. who recently got married, maybe like two weeks ago. Who did mm. a, a grand announcement on a nice resort mm. or at a nice resort resort, telling everybody that she's married now mm. to an Odogu. You know, Odogu spend silence. Odu- Okay, so that she's now married to an Odogu silencer. Woo! You know, you know, man take treating her right, whatnot. Mm-hmm. But like yes, I think it was yesterday that she decided to address some insults and curses that she received online. Mm. Um, people saying that the reason why she cannot post her man is because she's married to a married man, basically. Mm. That she stole, <laughs> she stole a man from another woman. Mm-hmm. So this is what we're going to be dissecting today and actually, you know, understanding the true meaning of Odogu silence. silence. <laughs> yeah, so what does that mean? Ah, Somebody that will just shut up everybody with his money and his the way he takes care of you. A spender, a provider, a man that pampers you, a man that does his job as a man. Mm, is an that's Ugo. basically okay. Silencer. Mm. So who would you say fumbled in this case where you know Yo. Sharon decided to to respond to the trolls? Hmm, it's a mix of many. I feel mm-hmm. for me first, I would say the internet in general. You know, there's mm-hmm. this whole idea of you know you you are a famous person, you put out who you love, but is even if you're even not you're hiding the man, not even necessarily based on the fact that okay he's somebody else's man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Babe, people are just wicked. But why would you guys assume it's somebody else's man? What what about the video made you? Is it because she didn't show the face? Yes. I feel but like maybe she just wanted feel. that man to be private. But, but then, then it's like, yeah, why do the video then? Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But then at the same time, you also don't necessarily blame, as I said, like the internet. Because mm-hmm. yes, as you said, why put the, the mm-hmm. video out? But then at the same time, I also blame the internet or people on the internet. Mm-hmm. Because can you not just mind your business? business. No, but, but then you made the it our business. As, as a public figure, you, you have made to understand. Because... Yeah. If she didn't post it online, we wouldn't have known that she right. was engaged or married, right? True. right? Married. The internet would not have been given that opportunity to True. say what and what that they had to say. Right. So she needed to understand that her posting it online is giving the masses the opportunity to dissect what it is. Yep. And you apart understand? from that, also, internet people are like, why did you go through this whole production? Like, did you see the video? It was a Full cute, it was production. Like, it was a cute video. It was very cute, very but cute. I was almost like, let me see his face. Everybody Let was there face. to see his face. <laughs> like, you know, and the crazy thing about the internet is that mm. even if you just show someone's hand, it yeah. will shock you. And they will find that person. Recognize <laughs> yeah, they that will. hand. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like, <laughs> what was the need? Mm, 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 mm. So, so do you think that she should have responded to the trolls or not? Now that's nah. where I personally think she fumbled. Yes. Yeah. I don't think that she should have because mm-hmm. we've always known Sharon to be someone who doesn't necessarily do that yeah um so she should just maintain that energy that's mm-hmm. what i feel yeah i think she should have ignored it as well because yeah she, she blew the situation out of proportion mm-hmm. right like now people are not invested like oh because when i saw the video i wasn't even thinking like okay maybe she's married to another married man mm-hmm. <laughs> but when i started to see the comments i'm like oh no but can i say something <laughs> yeah why do you guys assume it's another married you know <laughs> that's why do you know that's <laughs> for like, is the troll because it's what because it's, it's actually what tends to happen really mm-hmm. it's actually normal in Lagos. Lagos. yeah because why aren't you okay. comfortable showing your man yeah but how can you marry a married man it's not possible it's possible in you this, can't marry uh, twice my love it is possible there are stories mm-hmm. though i don't want to mention names i heard somebody got married recently to somebody i was like eh? Eh? was he still married that's okay whoever though. the wife is that video is very telling you you will know that's your man so i don't know if she would Maybe she just wanted to do it because she knew people would talk about it. Maybe she was being strategic. So was she, being, mm. was she looking for attention? Is that what you're saying? To make it bigger, I guess. Mm. Okay. That's another hey, angle. Sharon. And then maybe that's I also... I don't know you, really, but... <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's also why she also saw the need to sort of act out of character because I've right, never known Sharon right. to respond to trolls mm-hmm. ever. Right. Mm-hmm. So maybe... She was enjoying Everything the attention strategic. of it. And you know, it's a big deal to get married. It's a right. big deal to, you know, find the love of your life. So maybe mm-hmm. that's why she was like, you know what, this time I'm going to give them what they want. This yeah. time? Hmm. She got married before. No, like just like, <laughs> <laughs> this particular situation. <laughs> this time. That's what I think. Yeah. Right. 
Okay. But what do you think about people who do hide their men? Especially Nigerian men. Because right. I think they should be hidden. Shadows. I feel <laughs> like um, men is not something to boast about, unfortunately. Exactly. So I feel like if you can hide your man, you should. You should. Because no woman wants embarrassment. And especially men, if you're in the limelight, yeah, man, especially. And Nigerian men, they come with that. Mm. You know, you post your man, another girl's going to come. Like, mm-hmm. even, So mm. I don't think there's anything wrong with hiding your man. Mm-hmm. If you're going to hide him, though, hide him fully. Don't yes. do half party like that. Don't give us a little yeah. bit of a t- Teaser, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, then we're like, okay, no, we must know him. Because she's not dumb. Upset. She's not mm-hmm. dumb. You, you're very smart. Mm-hmm. You by doing that, you know. So that's why I feel like was it strategically done mm. like that? Because it's like you doing that half, like we can see half the back and of half. It's mm-hmm. like you know, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> would would you hide your man from the world when yes. you, when you get married? Yep. So you would do a grand announcement. I wouldn't like even. That. I would never post a video of my man like face no I wouldn't mm-hmm. do it because evil eye is a real thing mm-hmm. like you know and I just it's not even about the girls it's just about like it's protecting your peace mm. and your mental health yeah. I'd rather just not put something you know when something's dear to you why would you want to put it mm. out there yeah, you we gotta just protect, keep your private life private just fair. but then yeah. again Sharon is literally like Nollywood sweetheart mm-hmm. so it's almost like I honestly if I'm to be honest I was expecting like a fall on like oh hey this is my man mm-hmm. we're getting married on this day like if mm-hmm. the people that I'm gonna think oh are going to get married and have big but that's society advertising weddings, your man though I didn't I honestly for I her, 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 her I didn't think she, she would even post way. anything at all yeah. she just seems like kind of to me you know I don't know yeah. her personality but I just feel like when I think Sharon I think private mm. I wouldn't have thought that she would have even not she would have even told the world that she was married at all. Mm, she really? just seems like someone that could secretly get married that we wouldn't know. Oh, really? Like, she does, she, to me, she doesn't give off secret, secretly married vibes. She gives okay. off like society wedding. Everybody mm. will come. Everybody will show up. Everybody will wear a shrebi. So okay. I was very like, eh? <laughs> and apparently she's done like a civil wedding. It's like six months in or oh, more. Wow, wow. So I was like, okay. So I just knew that people would begin to troll her mm-hmm. because of that. I would have rather, as you said, mm-hmm. just keep it quiet. So I just kept it quiet. Don't tell really. anybody. Mm-hmm. Don't do any videos. But mm-hmm. you know, when you're happy, it's very hard to not what? to at least show just, even if it's just his finger. My, my no, but this is what people, <laughs> women, well, this I'm is sorry. what women need to learn to yes. and not do. Mm. Because, you know, there's a lot of jealous people out of there. Of course. And honestly, people, like, you know, some people are jealous and then some people actually on jealousy mm. so it's like I'd rather just not put things out there that is dear to you I would, even True. pregnancy it don't but I don't maybe mean, but maybe she put know. it out just so that people will stop hitting on her because I said she's, she is a Nollywood sweetheart people hitting on her how like no hitting on her like you know like oh, okay, men okay. like it reduces just the amount of men looking I for think, her I think she was just happy honestly I, happy, I just, yeah, she just shared yeah. it out of happiness I can't, yeah, she was just yeah. happy I wanted to Why let the not? world know that yeah. guys I got a My, ring you know so that's the girl's biggest moment you know what I'm saying like sure. I married this but then yeah. because of who yeah. she is she needs to also remember that just doing that uh, even though it's as secret as she I has wonder tried if she to regretted make it, it after she posted it. I have a feeling she probably did. She probably was like, do you think maybe, so? Maybe, who knows? Who knows? I don't know who knows. I may be wrong, but I think she did. Oh, Especially no. based on like the whole like, you Would know, you back and forth her trolls. Would you guys post a video like that mm-hmm. when you get married? I don't even think so. I don't want to get married. married. You wouldn't? I don't want to get married. I don't think I would. She, How come? She, she knows for sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm trying to have this conversation. But yes, I, I just, I believe in partnership. I don't believe, okay. especially out here. I don't think I don't think Nigerians are really set out for what marriage really is. Because mm. I don't understand why I'm married, but he has other women. Mm. Like, we have all, a thing. like we have all accepted here. Can so I ask a question? A thing that I'm supposed to be committing. Can I ask a question? But mm-hmm. you're not. Mm-hmm. Quick question, right? So you see, as um, when you know he's dating other women, right? So when you're the woman that acts like out of character like are very annoyed about it do they are they confused <laughs> are, yes. like why they always, do they feel like are you stupid or what it's the audacity that Nigerian men have so they feel like you shouldn't be acting confused you should Apparently. just fall in line you stupid idiots ooh who me or the, or the not men? you not you man <laughs> Not you, my queen. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not I mean, me, my queen. Right, so <laughs> you want a partnership, right? Yeah. yeah. So with that partnership, if that your partner gets another partner, would you, would you be upset? <laughs> would you still be in the ship? Keep in mind, there's, not, there's nothing binding you guys together. You just call it partnership. Mm. Would, you, would you be upset? <laughs> As a woman, you're going to be upset. Of course though. you would be. What is a partnership though? Yes, but then, but then if I'm in a marriage and I'm also equally upset, I think I would rather be able to like take the blow 
if I'm in a partnership okay. than if I'm in a marriage. So one leg in, one leg out. Yes, because that, that's what you want to do. Like that. No marriage. Yeah. No. Are you sure? Or do you just feel like you're just saying that? It's, to be honest, like, <laughs> I like that question this. because yeah. I honestly am not too sure. But, right, it, but right. so far, it's almost right. like I'm at like 85%. Is it what you've seen? Just and, what I've seen. Right, right. What I've experienced. Yeah. Of course. But do you feel like, like if you find a man that's like not like that and he knows what you want? Yes, if I do. Then you would get married. And I am open to that. It's just, all about finding mm. the right men and so far as I've always said on mm-hmm. the podcast and in even real life I feel right, a lot of Nigerian right, men right. are just not accountable and right, are not right. you know worthy to or, or already right. sort of learn and unlearn certain things so maybe if I can find someone who's ready right. to do that and that's what I love about you because obviously True. seeing you today I just feel like you're very you're not delusional mm. you know a lot of girls are delusional mm. to try and kind of like just make a perfect world for themselves yes. but you know people it's not a perfect world. Yeah, mm-hmm. like people shouldn't judge women for saying that they're not ready for marriage mm-hmm, or because mm-hmm. it's not to do, it's, I know, I, that's why I asked you is because of what you've seen because mm. every woman that is questioning marriage is because of experiences. But exactly. I'm telling you, it's because exactly. of what they've seen. That's why I was like, let me not, I just want you to put that out there mm-hmm. because I feel like you will find somebody and I don't want Amen, you to put sister. out, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I don't want you to put out there that you're not ready because I feel like you will find mm. someone. So just be careful. Did you see how good you I look this weekend? Yeah, 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 you look yeah, 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 good, baby. You look good, baby. You look good, baby. As a bride this weekend. <laughs> I need you're to marry. Did, did you marry. get toasted? Like, did, did people, you know, you come deserve, up with people you did. You deserve a good guy, babe. Oh, don't, I don't want you to say that. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this has so been sweet. such an amazing <laughs> episode. I oh love my you guys. God. <laughs> it has been so amazing. IVD, even though I'm not, I don't really like calling you IVD just because <laughs> you already know I'm not an IVD shop. <laughs> 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 Vanessa, you can't can call her Vanessa now. But yeah, Vanessa, Vanessa. Ivorian doll, queen of UK. Yeah, it's been absolutely fantastic having you here thank you for having me honestly I've learned so much from you guys and I, I'm a big fan of the show so. thank, you. thank you so much thank for coming baby girl and I love you yeah I know <laughs> we're gonna have you back again and again and of again course, and again we are. I think when my tape drops I'd love to jump back on and mm-hmm. just have some fun yes. of course yeah, yeah you're cute. always welcome baby girl always you, welcome alright guys well this is the end of another sweet episode of the Bad and the Bougie podcast the bougie. thank you so much for tuning in with myself and Mo Baby and Queen of Rap, IBD. IBD.